morning everyone. We're here this morning we're gonna start and put make a play off for Mr. Chevy Blazer. So far what we got done we got a the base piece of angle iron put on the bottom of the frame. I'll show you that now in a minute. And we're gonna try to make this so it's uh, pretty compact. A few old lads and parts that we're going to use up. Reuse, reuse, recycle. Okay, and we'll show you the, the frame we're about to use there now. I don't know if you can see that very well. What I've done, I took the the tow hooks down. I've drilled out a piece of three by four angle iron to go across as the start of the, the frame. So we've got to put the extensions net out now to put our, our winch or maybe a hydraulics. I haven't decided yet. Okay, so back with you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, here's what we got done so far. We've got two inch square stock. Well on our piece of angle iron, got it braced. That, uh, that got to go up back up on the, the blazer now. We're going to utilize the tow hooks there and the front bumper. So, we'll get you again in a minute. Next little part of our project here. Pulling uh -huh. the grill out. I'm getting ready to Put the bolts in behind the grill and run the wires out for the flow lights tonight. And I don't know how well you can see this, but we got our frame made up. We got our headlights net all, grill net all took out. Now we got to make the top piece and the mount for the winch net. Uh, and I can bother the hydraulics on this. There's way too much stuff there to go through to try to get the hydraulic valve net into. So we're gonna make a mount there now for the for the winch. Here we go. We got the frame to go over now. Time to finish up a few wells and do a little bit of painting on there. There's we had to drill one hole in the bumper and we lucked out. We had the, a hole on either side there to make the bumper alter. So that's the two holes there. And there's the 4,500 pound winch we're going to use. So uh, everything that should come off within is going to be like eight bolts. So only a few minutes to take this off if you want to take it off. Get back to you later. Okay, we got the frame took back out from under the blazer. This is what we got done. We got them primed in. And the way it's designed, you're supposed to go on with three bolts there, two on top, and then the winch mount got an extra one going back into the bumper. So nine bolts, and I can pull them off. Now, I don't know if you can see that there or not, but I got them made, so my plow lights will just slide down in that, and I can take them off if I want to go anywhere, where people have got a tendency to walk off with stuff. Now, my next little project was see now all I'm going to wait for that to, to do is I finally picked up a tripod for my camera and I got the fixie now so I can use a on my camera. I got a little leg broke on and but that's our next project now in the next few minutes. So I'll build you a tripod after that, hopefully. And What a lovely day in Butlerville. My God. Anyway, this is the little community that I'm from. I've only been here 44 years, so I don't know if I should say that I'm really from here or not. We've been here forever. A few trips to Toronto and Alberta and Ice Road and places like that. For the most part, this is where we've been. So I'll make a little video today of uh, I'm driving through Butlerville. Mm -hmm. 
you want to show you a bit of the sights. As good as it gets, I think. I guess you don't really want me to sing, do you? <laughs> it's my cousin's shop. Uh, I gotta get me one of them devices that holds on to the dash or something. It's hard to pay attention to this. Oh, but later on the day. Mm -hmm. We got a movie right. Officially out in what we call Shearstown. Not a big difference. You never exactly had to go across the border or nothing. You know. I don't know if you've seen that tractor trailer. That's the overpass. What we call the Veterans Memorial Highway here. Now I'm on my way somewhere. I got I got something planned out now for the season. I'm gonna drop down to my buddies. And I got a little Ford Escort down there, but I don't know now if uh, he's going to be around. If not, we'll, we'll get a little bit of look at her anyway. She's not your average Ford Escort. Uh, the fella built her there a few years ago. We've got to fly some coal out there. We've got to stop her. Anyway, a little bit further out in Chairstown now. I happen to come out just the time all the school buses are going. Bear with me, we'll hopefully have to stop again. And here we got another school bus. This fellow is just going to let me go through. <laughs> Almost done. Constable yeah. Sanders, all in the driveway. Not a good thing. Luckily, he didn't see me. Out here now to the main road in Chester. I'm sort of bear with me, they're trying to drive and do this at the same time. So. Now, this is what they call the dump. Don't ask me what they call it. I don't know what they call it, the dump. I've never known what they call it, the dump. But anyway, this is the dump. Oh. And here's where my missus works. In the radius. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to drop in here now for a second. Let me tell you, we'll get to the boy. Okay, boys. I'll talk to you later. Boys, well, I don't know if you can see that or not. The next time you complain about gas, our gas here is $1.28.3 a litre. How was that for you? Well, boys, I promise you to look at a Ford Escort. Now, I'm a man of my word, I'm trying to get, my buddy's not here to his garage, so I don't want to really get out and have a look around. But here we go, we got a Ford Escort, on top of a Suzuki Jeep frame, there's a Chevette motor in it, Chevette transmission, Suzuki transfer case, and a Ford Escort body, and a Ford Snowplow, with, uh, one of these days I'll dare it down and I'll get a, I'll show you a good picture of her. You got a homemade hydraulic pump in on the passenger side, just running off a 55 Chevy starting motor. 
quite the quite the little rig. They've had it done now, I'd say ten or twelve years. She's getting starting to get shabby now, but uh, my buddy Boyd Munden used to own it. He passed away and he gave it he gave it to me other buddy, June. So I don't know now if June passes away in the next twenty five or thirty years, maybe I'll get my hands on it. <laughs> but he's got a few other little lads and ends he got get that old Ford pickup over there he's doing. And they got a ranger here. A few other rods and ends, you know. Toyota Echo, Fairmont. An old sunflower. Anyway, he'll be back eventually. Hi, right, boys. See you for now.